All right, let's get this bad boy done. Hello everybody and welcome to another trucking vlog with the one, the only trucker avocado baby put some guac on that sandwich right now we're in Bennett Colorado it is the 26th April 26th and it is 9 45 in the morning uh, we are about 25 miles away from our delivery um, uh, well our first stop this is a two-stop load uh, we picked this up in Covington Tennessee and uh, our first stop is Denver Colorado which um, like I said I'm about 24 miles away from the from the delivery and then our second stop is in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, there is a terminal out in Utah, Salt Lake City. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to the terminal yet. I didn't quite look. I just threw in the address, but then I got another message or something like that. So I think originally I was supposed to take it to the uh, final, to the consignee. Um, but I th they sent me, I think they updated it to, for me to take it to the... Uh, terminal which is okay it's due tomorrow at the at the terminal or the receiver whatever don't know which one um i'll have to figure that out later but uh uh like i said right now we're in den or we're in bennett colorado on our way to denver colorado i've been driving since this morning um i stopped yesterday or the day before yesterday I should say I stopped about 300 miles away and uh, then I drove like I literally drove like an hour yesterday got to about two hours and 30 minutes away um, shut down and now we're back on the road so this this drive has been pretty freaking smooth literally took uh, 70 all the way over here we're on I-70 now um, it was uh, I forgot what the uh, exact route was but I know I went through like Kansas City um, actually I shut down at our Kansas City yard on Saturday on Friday so um, yeah and uh, now we're here so you know I know you guys can see the mountains well I hope you guys can see the mountains in the back so nice if you guys have been watching me for a while you guys know that I love the mountains and they still got a little bit of snow on top weather is looking fantastic uh, my truck is reading right now at a uh, 74 degrees so it feels really good outside like really really good it's a bit windy um, so I'm not sure uh, how much they're taking off I don't exactly remember how much they're taking off at this first stop but I can't say uh, I hope it's not that much because I don't want to be light since I'm going up 25 to 80 and yeah we all know how 80 in Wyoming is yeah so hopefully I'm not light but um man it's been such a great drive i've been getting some great fantastic sleep i did get back on the night schedule but uh, with this load the time that it was supposed to be delivered at um, my delivery time and how close i was i wasn't able to start last night but however i will be shutting down after i uh deliver this load i'll probably drive um, up to cheyenne or maybe get as far as rollins and yeah and go ahead and shut down so i can take off tonight but uh man making miles that's exactly what we're doing we're making miles making money we're out here rolling we're cruising we're rolling and we're strolling keep that we're keeping that left door closed with the wheels turning because if you're keeping the left door closed and the wheels ain't turning you still ain't making no money you might as well just have the doors open you know what i'm saying 
I know you guys know exactly what I'm saying. Anyhow, we're about 12 miles from our exit um, or from, you know, our next, uh, you know, rear off or whatever. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to come back to you when I get a little bit closer to the uh, to the exit and also when I get closer to the receiver. And um, uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing fantastic doing really fantastic so uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit all right guys we're about 1.8 miles from our exit here exit 282 and uh, we're gonna go ahead and just stay behind this this truck in front of us because speed limit did go down to 55 miles an hour and he's only going 52 miles an hour so yeah there's no reason to go try to pass him I mean Going, we're going to speed limit, so you know what I'm saying. So I do have the satellite view up, and it is uh, doesn't look like a hard back at all. It's kind of like a warehouse with two different things. So we're just gonna see when we get there. There is only one entrance into this place, though. So yeah. Alright, in one mile we'll be taking exit 282. Go ahead and slow down. Ah, that's the second trooper I see on a the bike. There's one like literally like about a mile back. And I mean he's ready to catch people. Ready to catch people. I mean he was sitting there with the uh, radar gun. Just peep 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 peep. You know what I'm saying? some more distance there are some people coming in so all right fantastic I saw that closed and I thought it was gonna be like you know our exit but I'm gonna go ahead and turn our right hand blinker on here because we are going to the right and are you gonna let us in buddy probably not and then we're gonna go ahead and I did want to get on in this lane here, but that wasn't very. I do got to get all the way to the right though, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this right back on, and we're gonna go ahead and go. Here, right on to Peoria Street, and then we're gonna get over one more lane. Alrighty, fantastic, fantastic. Let's go ahead and slow down some. I'm not sure what's coming at the end. Maybe a stop sign or a stop light or what a yums. We gotta find out here shortly. All right, thank you, Nagy McNally. I appreciate, appreciate you. Uh, there is a curb curve coming up so we're going a good 45 I'm gonna go ahead and slow down to about 40 okay Again, that is the office ringtone. So, yep. All right. Exit 45 miles an hour. We're gonna go ahead and stay here at 45 miles per hour. All righty. Let's see what we got going on here. We're gonna make our right at this light here. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and this does 
does turn into its own lane. So we're gonna go ahead and all right, then we're gonna go ahead and get in the middle lane. Because we do gotta make a left in 1.3, so we're gonna just go ahead and hang on to this middle lane, speed limit 35 miles an hour. So, uh, yep, yep. Beautiful, colorful, col uh, uh, colorful Colorado. Dutch Bros coffee. Oh, that sounds good. I mean, anything with coffee sounds good, really. All right. He should really turn on his blinker. Oh, he's, oh, okay. He didn't have any space, that's why. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get in the left lane here. All right. Go ahead and get in this left lane. We're gonna make a left. All right, I'll come it short in 0.7 miles. Okie dokie. I gotta pee. Avenue. Every time I get close to a shipper or a receiver, I always gotta pee. Like, it's unavoidable. Okie doke. Okie dokie, okie dokie, artichoke. We're gonna go ahead and make a left here shortly. Point three, so I'm guessing that would be the traffic light up, up ahead. Um, or not. No, it's not. It's right where that truck is going. Yep, yeah, this is 53rd. Turn into 54. first left onto East 54th Avenue. I'm gonna go ahead and make a left here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and wait for that car to come because I couldn't see behind that garbage truck anyhow. So, making sure there's no other trucks because there are trucks parked on the street. So, I'm sure I have enough space, but you know, you can never be too careful, guys. All right, gotta go wide. All right, cool. All right, okie dokie. I'm gonna find our place here. I'm gonna go ahead and make a left up here at this like kind of circle thing. Turn at the first left onto Oswego Street. All right, there's a stop sign here. They don't have a stop sign, so we're gonna go ahead and just. All right, cool. Fantastic. It's kind of a weird place to park, right in the corner. Oh, uh oh. Entrance looks like it's back there, but it does look. Like there is another one up here, so your destination is on the right. But that doesn't look like this is a truck entrance here. Oh, it might be. Yeah. All right. Perfect. So even better, because this leaves us on a side side back. Fantastic, guys. All right, let's go ahead and check in and find out where we're going and what we're doing. And I really got to pee.
all right guys this is actually pretty this looks really tight oh my goodness yeah all right we're gonna figure this out shipping and receiving it's is more down all right shipping and receiving let's go ahead and all right perfect so let's go ahead and just kind of stay here and i guess i will have to go around if anything all right guys i'll be right back all right guys so what i ended up doing was i ended up pulling out because the door that they want me to go to was actually occupied and the guy was leaving so we're gonna go ahead and wait for this guy to go see wherever he's going all right we're gonna go ahead and make a right turn here but we gotta stay wide oh bless me it feels really nice out here really really nice all right, so they want us to go to door seven, which is where that second truck and trailer is at. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and wait for him to go ahead and get out of the way pretty much. And um, yeah, guys, I will be right back with you once the guy moves. We're gonna go ahead and back up to door seven here. Most likely, yeah, we're gonna do a 90. So we're just gonna straighten up just like this. And I'll open my doors when I get closer. Go ahead and pull a little bit more to the right. All right, let's get this bad boy done. Get this bad boy done. Oh wow, okay. Literally perfect. Um, well, almost perfect. Almost perfect, guys did this little pull up now we're gonna go ahead and go back all right all right perfect said so go ahead and break the seal and put it in the back so that's what we're gonna do wow guys that was a good behind back so it's not as tight as it looks. All right, guys, I'll see you guys for the next drop. All right, cap is all fixed. The cap is all fixed. So we're just gonna sit here and wait 1.5 miles away. So yeah, we're just gonna sit here and wait. And I drove here straight. I did stop at a rest area to pee and to eat something real quick, but we have um we have one hour and 36 minutes on our clock which is good not bad we'll get a 30 minute break in here uh while they're unloading us all right now i guess uh we'll just uh baby sounds nice she's purring like a kitten i'm pretty sure she has a cat so she is a kitten 
purr like a kitten, baby. That guy's not even paying attention to the road. I don't know what the heck he's looking at. Guy was just looking down. I'm not sure, but the mountains do look nice over here. I do. I do like Utah because of the nice mountains. All right, let's go ahead and put this water down. All right, can we make this light? Will we make this light? And we are gonna make this light. All right, nice and easy. We do gotta make a left here shortly in 0.8 miles, so. We're gonna start looking for a gap here shortly after this red car that's coming up, this red Volkswagen, I believe. Uh, it's a Beetle, looks like a Beetle to me. So, punch buggy, no punch backs. You guys remember that? Oh, it's not a Beetle though, but it is a Volkswagen. All right, speed limit 40, that's exactly what we're doing. In half a mile. It wasn't a punch buggy, so I take my punch back. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're all clear to go. All right, speed limit 40 miles an hour, so we're going to make a left up here. Um, I believe that's right before that building over there. Yeah, right before the building over there. So we're going to go ahead and turn our left blinker on here now intersection turn to turn right to here all right we're gonna wait for this white truck what the heck going straight up here yeah that's definitely where I picked up before speed limit 35 uh, well we're not gonna even make it up to 35 we got to make a left up here and uh-huh uh-huh we're gonna go ahead and get Turn in this in center lane all right I think where I picked up was like on the other side. All right, we're gonna go ahead and make a left. All right, and we're watching the satellite view here. We're watching the satellite view here. That's where we gotta go. So we're just gonna go ahead and keep going straight. Make sure nobody's coming. We're gonna keep going straight here. We're gonna go out to the left a little bit. All right. All right, all past the curb and we're gonna find check in here somewhere. We're gonna find the check in office here. Oh, there was another entrance there. Your destination Fantastic. Is on the left. Okay, all right. And I'm sure we're gonna be here. So we're gonna find the check in office, which I'm sure would probably be at the other corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and check in guys and I'll be right back with you. All right guys, so we are all checked in. We have to back into door nine. Just gonna be up here on this left-hand side. 12, 13, yeah. Back into door nine.
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go to the right. Go to the left. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get under the trailer. Give it a little bit more right. A little bit more right. We're too far off. I'm gonna go straight. I'm gonna go ahead and give it some right. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and go up here. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and go back to the left to bring it back the other way just a little bit. And we can back up to the door closed. With the doors closed, they will break the seal from the inside. Ah, oh, man, just, ah, uh, I should have got under just a little bit sooner. Just a little bit sooner. There's no line on, there's no line on this passenger side here. So, she wrote that's all she wrote for this vlog guys you already know thank you guys for watching if you guys stayed this far i appreciate you i really do i want to thank all my subscribers for watching uh if you like this video like it down below if you want to comment on the video comment down below follow me on instagram and snapchat that's where you can contact me the quickest way I also have my phone number in the description down below. You can uh, shoot me a text. Now, I don't guarantee that I will respond right away, but um, it is quick. Um, other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Hi, guys, and we're back. Right now, we are in Salt Lake City, Utah. All right, now. All right, so we are about um, 2.8 miles away from our exit here, exit 13 on I-15, I believe, I wanna say. Not quite sure. Yeah, we're on I-15. Or 215. We're on something. We're on something here. Sorry, I was a little thirsty. We're just hanging on to this middle lane because, um, yeah, there's a lot of merging and stuff like that. So we're just holding on to the middle lane right now. After this merge right here, we'll go ahead and get over in the right lane. So uh, with that being said, all right, so this is uh, gonna be delivered at uh, the receiver, um, and then we are headed to the terminal after that. I gotta sign some paperwork, and I um, think I'm gonna put my truck in the shop or see what's going on. Uh, my brakes have been squeaking, and yeah, it's not a very pleasant sound, so. 
All right, now we gotta go ahead and get in the right lane after these trucks go ahead and get in. I don't know what that guy's doing. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and let this guy go in front of us so we can go ahead and get in the right lane because we do gotta get off in a, a mile and a quarter here. And that guy's like, I don't know what the F he's doing. All right. All right. So now I do have the satellite view up. Looks like uh, there's one entrance to this place and it is at a dead end road. Um, yeah. So it's been a decent drive. I-80 was uh, was not too bad. It wasn't windy. I, it was windy uh, yesterday during the daytime, but uh, we went ahead and went through the nighttime. It wasn't windy. It did start. It was like snowing a little bit, or like uh, sleet, like that freezing rain crap. So, all right, we're gonna go ahead and turn our right blinker on, and all right. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, go ahead and slow down here. We're gonna make a right at this light here. Turn right onto Bayekuda Highway toward SL International Airport. All right, sweetie, we're turning right, no worries. Go ahead and slow down here. We do have a green light up here. So we're going to go ahead and go. I've been through here before. I feel like I've been here with CRST. There's like a FedEx or something down there. Um, yeah, it's like a FedEx or XPO logistics down there where we picked up at. So... Yeah, I've, I've spent quite a few. I spent quite a few time here in uh, Salt Lake City when I was with CRST. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's squeaking, and it's it's been driving me nuts. Let me go ahead and tighten this. Up. All right, all right. So we're gonna have to make a left in 0.8 miles. So. We're gonna start looking for a gap here to get to the left lane to make this left on West California Avenue. All right. Somebody's being impatient. All right, let's go ahead and turn our blinker on because we got 0.6 miles to go. We do gotta get in this left lane. Uh, all right, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. We're going to go ahead and give them our blinky lights. All right. Then we're going to make a left on California up here, which uh, should be at an, which is an intersection. Yeah. So the next signal light, next traffic light, traffic device, whatever you want to call it, stop light. We're going to go ahead and turn our blinker on. So people know we're making a left and we're not just going to stay in their way. Turn at the first left onto West California Avenue. All right. Okie dokie, guys. And we're going to catch this red light, of course. Man, there is somewhere else where I picked up here somewhere down there um forget what was the name of it but I picked up laundry detergent there and i even came there with cr uh with cfi somewhere down there it's crazy how you like real lot you rec you recognize stuff after you've been there for a while give me a second guys i gotta fix my cap